In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. As we come here together on our fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time, it is uh, with great joy that we are filled with the grace of God. And here with Deacon Stephen Weller, it is a privilege to hear him as he preaches the gospel today. So let us prepare to receive the presence of Christ in word and sacrament by the forgiveness of our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. But do you gird your loins, stand up, and tell them all that I command you? Be not crushed on their account, as though I will leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, of wall of brass, against the whole land against Judah's kings and princes, against his priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to de deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will, I will sing, sing of your, your salvation. salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock a refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord. My trust, O oh God, for my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice. Day by day, your salvation. O oh God, you had taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I will show you a still more excellent way. If I should speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy 
and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge. If I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially, and we prophesy par partially, but when the perfect comes, the partial will, pa will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childless things. At present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, then I shall know fully as I am fully known. So faith, hope, love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus began speaking in the synagogue, saying, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing, and all spoke highly of him, and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that, we've, that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel during the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath of the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, Yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, Jesus shows us a certain duality that belongs to the Christian. On the one hand, there's nowhere that we can be where we can be at home. We're Christians, and so our home is elsewhere. We don't belong here. On the other hand, Jesus also shows us that our home can be anywhere. He's the one who's rejected when he goes back home, and yet he's the most homely person that there is. He carries home wherever he is. And that's because home is not so much a place as it is a person. It's an encounter with a person. Mother Teresa used to say that all the way to heaven is heaven. Heaven is something that occurs right now. And so we can be at home even when we're not yet 
totally there. But how? How is it that we can be at home no matter where we go? How is it that we can be so comfortable in the presence of God that it gives us a strength no matter what circumstances we find ourselves in? And I think St. Paul today gives us the answer. He says it's being known by God. God knows everything infinitely. He's omniscient. And yet, there's a particular way in which God must know us. He says he must know us face to face. Literally in the Greek, prosopon, pros, prosopon. Literally translated a different way as person to person. God is not someone that we just know about. He's a person that we know about. And so Jesus today is inviting us to be known by him and to know him as a person. It's being known by God. And we have to tell him about ourselves like we tell others about ourselves so that we can be known face to face. At home in the presence of God, together we profess, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward with the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Beloved, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for the needs of all. For those who do not yet believe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For good weather and the fruits of the earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of our diocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with faith and love to praise your goodness and to acknowledge our need. We ask you to hear the prayers we make in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Amen. angels prostrate fall, bring forth the royal diadem, and crown him Lord of all. Bring forth the royal diadem, and crown him Lord of all. Crown him of our God who from his altar call extol the stem of Jesse's rod and crown him Lord of all extol the stem of Jesse's rod and crown him
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us sing, give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Before the final blessing, I uh, just want to acknowledge the fact that we are here with a few seminarians from the Diocese of La Crosse. So uh, we thank you for your presence and your prayer, and certainly uh, Deacon Weller as well. Uh, they are, as uh, we speak, gathered and uh, preparing for the future. So as they have responded to God's call, we thank you for your prayers uh, for them so that they might grow in grace and stature, grow in knowledge uh, of God, and as the homily said today, uh, not of knowledge just of uh, something, but someone. And as they grow in love with God, may his goodness then uh, come alive in their hearts and God willing, their future be filled with ministry and uh, with opportunities to help build his kingdom. So we pray for the seminarians of the Diocese of La Crosse, and we thank all those uh, from home who do so as well. As we go forth into the world ourselves, may we be strengthened by his grace and blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. May our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Jesus shall reign wherever the sun does his success of joy. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Welcome as we gather together to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. I am so happy that you have joined us and I continue to pray with you and with all the members of our diocese as we pray for the sick and we pray for your families and your friends. God bless you and thank you for your support of the Sunday Mass.